In 1901, a group of sponge divers off the coast of a tiny Greek island made a discovery that would baffle the world for more than a century. Among the ruins of a sunken Roman-era ship, they found statues, coins, and pottery. But buried in the mud was something no one could explain, a lump of corroded bronze and wood, broken, unrecognizable. But inside, gears, cogs, precision unlike anything ancient people were supposed to have. What they found was the Antikythera mechanism, a 2,000-year-old machine so advanced, some call it the world's first computer. The wreck was discovered near the island of Antikythera, between mainland Greece and Crete. The sponge divers had descended over 100 feet, struggling with primitive gear, when they stumbled upon the ancient shipwreck. At first, the find was what you'd expect. Marble statues, jewelry, amphorae, typical Roman-era cargo. But as the artifacts were hauled up and catalogued in Athens, one strange object stood out. A chunk of greenish bronze, cracked and fused, with visible gears inside. At the time, no one knew what it was. Some thought it was an astrolabe. Others thought it was nothing more than a fancy clock. They couldn't have been more wrong. It took decades before anyone truly understood what the Antikythera mechanism was. CT scans and X-rays in the early 2000s revealed over 30 intricate bronze gears, interlocked with mathematical precision. The machine wasn't decorative, it was functional. Scholars realized it could track the movements of the sun, the moon, and the planets. It could predict eclipses. It even used a four-year dial to track the ancient Olympic Games. This wasn't just a clock, it was a mechanical model of the cosmos and it was built in the 2nd century BCE, over 1,500 years before anything like it would appear again in Europe. The front of the mechanism had a dial showing the zodiac and solar calendar. As you turned a crank, gears would rotate to show the position of the sun and moon on any given day. A second dial tracked lunar phases, even adjusting for the moon's elliptical orbit. On the back, spiral dials that predicted solar and lunar eclipses using an 18-year cycle known as the Saros cycle. Another dial kept track of the Pan-Hellenic Games, including the Olympics. All of this in a box the size of a shoebox. It's mechanical computing from ancient Greece. No one knows for sure who built the Antikythera mechanism. Some scholars believe it may be linked to the school of Archimedes, the famous Greek mathematician and inventor. Others think it came from Rhodes, home to a tradition of astronomical engineering. But there's one thing everyone agrees on. This wasn't a one-off. Whoever made it had experience and tools that have long since disappeared. The craftsmanship implies a lost lineage of ancient technology, one that vanished from history after the fall of classical civilization Here's the most haunting part. Why was such advanced knowledge lost? After the Antikythera mechanism, we have no record of anything like it for over a thousand years. The gears, the precision engineering, the astronomical insight, gone. Some think Roman society simply didn't value scientific instruments. Others blame wars, plagues, or the burning of libraries like Alexandria. Whatever the reason, the mechanism sits at the edge of historical memory. Proof that humans once reached farther than we ever imagined, only to forget. The Antikythera mechanism is more than just a relic. It's a whisper from the past. A reminder that progress isn't always linear. Sometimes, the future is buried beneath the waves, waiting to be rediscovered.